Hello, I'm Jomica, and welcome back to Broke Rock Season 3, Get Off My Lawn Edition, Episode 2. Um, last episode, we kind of ended with doing the whole comments thing, and I kind of talked about if you left a comment in my videos, I would kind of give you credit, or not credit, just bring you into the world, and you could be a part of the base. I am... A little bit ahead so I haven't checked episode 1 for comments yet but I know that this person will be commenting and they always claim to be the first comment on all my episodes so we're gonna give him credit here just because I know it's coming his name is cringe factor we will say episode 1 he commented and since he always claims to be first and thinks he is the first comment, let's see if you guys can actually beat him in the comments down below and see if you are actually first. Um, but other than that, today I think we're going to be building a villager breeder. We're going to try to get some more paper and stuff. I do have the sugarcane farm over here still running. I need to continue to kind of keep growing them and let them build up before I harvest them just so we can kind of get more at the same time but I think what we're gonna do like I said is the villager breeder and to do, we're gonna do I don't know like a automatic fully automatic one where we don't have to do anything and we're gonna need to do a few things first before we can actually get that done we need to build a little farm. I'm going to start with that. I didn't bring anything, did I? Well, I will go ahead and get it started, and then I can do the rest off camera. So if we can get up here, we should also get an easier way to get up here. We're going to be putting the farm right up here. I've already kind of planned it out. We're going to be, the center will be right here. And then all around that is going to be carrots. And there's going to be a farmer up here who's going to be harvesting those carrots and throwing his extra carrots at a pair of villagers who are going to breed and make babies. And then those babies are going to drop down. When they grow up, they will go to a different area of the breeder. And then we can pick them up with a minecart and send them wherever we want. So I'm going to go ahead and build up that farm, just basically the carrot farm part. And then... We'll go ahead and get another villager from that village over there. We do have the one from last episode, but we definitely need, at the very least, two. Um, and we're just going to get the two, and that'll be the two villagers that we need. So, yeah, I'll get started on that, and then we can take a look at the progress in just a few seconds. So, I added a little... I wouldn't call it a staircase, but... It's much easier to get up this way. We could probably add some stairs at some point. But we have the little farm in place here. I've just been growing the carrots and kind of just letting them do their thing. Come up here every once in a while and harvest them. It should fill up in no time at all. Uh, one thing I need to do is put a little box around it so once we get the villager in there, he does not escape or zombies don't get in to attack him. So the next thing I'd like to do, it's always a difficult thing, um, but that is collect a villager. So I think to do that, we're gonna do the same way we did it with this villager that we have and just bring a boat over. I should have a boat in here somewhere, but we can go collect him with a boat and bring him back. Hopefully he doesn't give us too much trouble, and we can get him up. We'll have to figure out a way to keep him safe, but we'll get him up here and safe, and then up to the farm, and then those two can breed, make a villager, and that new villager will be our farmer. So yeah, it'll make more sense once we get the other villager. Um, so I'll go do that now, and we can bring him back. So we were able to get this guy over here. Uh, we just used water bucket to get us up to this point. 
And what I'm doing now is I'm kind of building like a little handrail for the water. So I'm going to go up to the top, place in the water, and have it float down all the way down to this guy. And then we can hopefully, let's try it here actually, see if we can get in and float up the stairway. I think those plants, yeah, there goes all those plants again. So if we can, can we go up a one wide? Of course not. So we're going to have to change that to two wide. Um, but that shouldn't be too difficult. So I'll get this in place and then we will race the clock to try and get this guy upstairs and then also his friend. Um, we'll start with him just because he is out in the open and then we can worry about his friend a little bit later. But for now, I'm going to make this too wide. I'm going to test it and then we can go from there. All right, both villagers made it up here safely. They are both in boxes with a torch inside so no mobs spawn near them. I also added some stairs for easy access for me so I don't have to jump all the time. And we filled in the carrots. So now what I'm gonna do is we're just gonna make the, the villager breeder work. And then after it works, and everything is running how I expect it to be, we can kind of work on the design of it. So first, I'm just going to go ahead and build... It's basically just going to be all cobblestone, because that's really all I have right now. And then after we get it built um, and working, then we can focus on the design portion of it. I plan on doing... Before we end this episode today, I plan on collecting the materials required to make it look good and yeah, we'll make it look pretty cool using the shaders. So I'm going to get to building this and then I will kind of explain how it works. I may or may not do a little tutorial on how to build this farm. I kind of I looked on YouTube to see what other people were doing, took a few ideas from different ones and came up with the design we're going to be using today. So these guys are enclosed in. He is a farmer and he is nothing. I'm a little hesitant to let them run free, but I guess worst case scenario, these don't have enough light, do they? Um, worst case scenario is we can get rid of a few villagers or try and usher them into that hole. Um, I still have to finish building everything, so I don't know if I should actually let them free. Let me, let me think about this a little more. So basically the idea is the farmer's going to be in here. He's going to be collecting all of the carrots, which are not working right now. And then once he has all the carrots, he is going to like fill his, fill up his pockets and then he's going to come over here and throw carrots at the other two villagers that are going to be in here. Those two villagers are going to breed, drop babies down into like a holding chamber, and then when they grow up, they will actually be sucked up by a water source and they'll be ready to transport wherever I need them to go. So that is the idea. Here's the outside so far. I mean, nothing to it. There's going to be beds on top. And that's it. I mean, the holding chamber will be down here for the babies. They'll kind of be pushed over with water. Um, when they grow up, they'll float up a few blocks and then go to another holding chamber somewhere around here. And they'll be connected to a minecart pickup system. And I could send them off wherever I need them to go. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish this up. I'll build it all and we can come back, see it working, and then we can 
replace the cobblestone with some sort of design, make it look nice and pretty. So we have it working now. We have this farmer here. We got, this was the original other guy. Um, they bred together and made this other villager. He's a nitwit, so he doesn't do anything. Um, and yeah, he's going to toss carrots eventually down to those two. Uh, those two will breed, and then they will drop babies down into the chamber below, which will do some things. And if we actually come into here, we can see what happens. So there's the two villagers, and of course we can't really see. I think if I go in this back corner we could see a little better. Yeah, so there's the two villagers there. They will breed, the baby villager will jump off the edge because of the buttons. It'll get washed through over here from the water. The baby will sit here until it grows up, and then when it grows up into an adult, it will get sucked up by this water and then dropped into that hole, that holding chamber um, as an adult. So the only thing left is kind of the minecart situation and I think we're gonna wait on that because well we have no use for villagers right now and we need to decorate it and let them kind of build up a little bit before we do that we also need supplies so what I'm gonna do now is block up this hole I guess we'll just use this piece of cobblestone block up that hole so nothing Actually, we need to put some stuff in there to prevent mobs from spawning. But we'll block up that hole so nothing falls in. We can save villagers that are new villagers that come and we're going to use later. And I'm going to go ahead and start to build up the design that I had in mind. I also need to collect supplies for that. Oh, and one other thing is we have a few beds up here. We're going to fill up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more beds. And then it should be ready to go. I think it'll work now. Could probably breed one more villager, and I think that'll be it. But it will work. Um, just need a few supplies, because we are running out. So I'm going to go gather the supplies we need for the design, and then we can go ahead and build that said design. All right, so I've been busy. We did a lot of collecting of resources and planting things. There's just kind of a lot of things around here. Uh, we got our Fortune 3 pickaxe from up here. We have all of the bookcases that we need. There's 14 here, and then we have the final one um, in that chest. We kind of waited because we had the Fortune 3 at 28 levels, so I just left it and upgraded the pickaxe. I just went down to get the diamonds. There were 15 down there. We had one left over already. Um, what else? Oh yeah, we got cows and sheep. Uh, we got a whole bunch of those. We can. Uh, we need the sheep for uh, the build up there, so we can finish the the villager trading, not trading, but whatever it's called, the villager breeder. Uh, I also, while I was waiting for things to go, I made like a little kelp farm here, so we just come in, break those, and then all the kelp comes down into this corner. So we got 14, 15 from that, and then I've just been slowly filling up the furnace with all of the kelp so that this will eventually fill up all the way, and then we can use this as uh, an XP farm, like one of those furnace XP things. And then, yeah, we got the stairs going up. I don't really like the way that these torches look on the edge here. They really only light up this one block. Um, so we'll have to figure something out there to keep it lit up, but make it also look good with the shaders. And then up here, we cleaned up the build. We actually made the build. And this is what it looks like. Uh, at night, it looks pretty good. I think it looks much better. Um, 
we may or may not get rid of these trapdoors depending on how it looks. But what I wanted to do is kind of just cast a little bit of light right here. Um, so we'll wait until it's nighttime, take a look at that. But here is the build. I never actually designed the front. Um, I just kind of went with what I had. And I think that looks pretty good. It's kind of like a little entrance there. I may do like some more glass in here or something to kind of act as a door. I'm not really sure just because we have to have this here um, because of the villager like storage area. So we'll see. Um, it'd be nice to be able to see in here and take a look at this villager while he's doing his thing but it's not really needed and yeah it looks pretty good like that so yeah I'll wait until night and then we can take a look to see what it looks like and yeah I'll see you at night time alright so it sounds like I have phantoms there he is phantoms after me but this is what it looks like at night. This is the look I was going for. Um, and it looks like with those there, it doesn't do it. So we're going to take these out. And yeah, I think it looks pretty good, if I say so myself. Um, we'll get rid of these two, and then we'll step back a little bit and take a look. So we'll just go up here. We'll get our sword out. I didn't realize I hadn't slept for a while. So that's what it looks like. Um, it's a little bit faded on the bottom there from a little bit further away. But yeah, it looks pretty good from this close. We got the trees reflecting off and everything. We got the moon reflecting off the glass. And yeah, this is our villager breeder. So let me know what you think of the looks. Um, let me know what you think of the build, and that is going to do it for today's episode. If you liked today's episode, be sure to hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing, and do not forget about our little commenting thing down below. Uh, if you comment on the videos, I will go ahead and place uh, your username on a sign down here. So yeah, thank you everyone for joining me, and I hope to see you all in the next episode.